the co-founder of the Taliban and the deputy prime minister of the Taliban-led Afghanistan, Abdul Ghani Baradar, has released an audio message on social media. This is what the message says. بس دا کمی رسانی شي دا اکثر وخت دغه شي بیا دا تبلیغات او شرمونکي دروغ وای نو د دغه په باب باندې بس خپل په جرات سره دا خبره رد کا کم خبره نه سن کوم مشکل سره الحمدلله بس سل په سل کې چمن د کوالا موسی ته دعا ګانې کوي السلام علیکم ورحمۃ الله وبرکاته وی کین نات اوتنتیکیټ دس میسج but the message has been doing the rounds on social media it was posted on official taliban accounts and on the twitter account of the taliban spokesperson now in this audio message abdul ghari baradar says he is alive and well this statement comes after the news of his supposed demise went viral on social media abdul ghani baradar is the deputy prime minister of the taliban government in afghanistan Social media has been in a frenzy over the speculation of Baradar's death. Rumors have been swirling claiming that Baradar has been mortally wounded in a shootout between rival Taliban factions at the presidential palace. Last week Abdul Ghani Baradar was named as number 2 to Mullah Hassan Akund who was named as the acting prime minister of the country. In the audio message posted by the Taliban Baradar has blamed quote on quote fake propaganda for the death rumors on social media he rejected the lies and speculation but others voice saying he is alive and well is heard clearly but where exactly is abdul ghani baradar the audio claims that he has been away on trips but the location has not been disclosed baradar even missed out on an import uh, even missed out on important diplomatic meetings in kabul especially the one with the foreign minister of qatar and his delegation team mohammad bin abdul rahman was the first foreign minister to visit kabul after the taliban takeover the qatar diplomatic team met with the taliban leadership and other cabinet members this was a crucial meeting for the taliban as qatar officially congratulated the taliban on their victory in afghanistan and stressed on the need for good afghanistan qatar ties but the co-founder of the taliban and a significant leader was missing from this crucial diplomatic meeting earlier there were reports that mullah baradar was injured in a clash with the haqqani network but baradar was found meeting the delegates from the united nations so those reports were false and probably the reports of his death are nothing but propaganda but let me tell you this there is no smoke without fire the taliban have been trying to project unity ever since they took over kabul but the ideological and factional differences within the taliban are a fact and they seem to have resurfaced especially after the group came to power we are talking about the turf war between the haqqani network and other factions which has been attributed to the delay in announcing a government all these rumors around the man who till very recently had even was even tipped to be the head of the taliban government have only added fuel to the speculation that there is a lot happening in kabul that is yet to be revealed and tracking all those developments has been our correspondent anas malik he, anas malik is now joining us live on the broadcast uh, from kabul anas what more do we know at this point this is an audio message claiming to be from uh, abdul ghani baradar we cannot authenticate this audio message but at the same time it tries to douse the speculation that's been doing the rounds over his death But yes there have been a lot of speculations around uh, at least for the past one week now um, in fact for the past 10 days that there has been some sort of infighting that might have been ongoing and that uh, rumors surrounded that Mullah Abdul Ghani the brother could have been injured or could have been dead uh, after some fighting between Anas Haqqani 
and Abdul Ghani brother. But that was strongly rebutted by the Taliban uh, sources earlier as well. Uh, last Friday we saw that coming in, uh, that he was injured. Then we saw him at uh, at the very hotel meeting Motlaq uh, uh, al-Qahtani on Saturday evening. Uh, and then after that, uh, we saw him holding a meeting on 8th of September with the representative of Red Cross as well. Uh, uh, so, uh, di uh, diminishing all the rumors by and large. But uh, then again, these rumors originated yesterday when Mullah Abdul Ghani brother was not in the meeting with the Qatari foreign minister uh, when he, Abdul Rahman Al Thani had arrived for a short visit to Kabul. Uh, and then uh, uh, the rumors were ripe that uh, the fact that uh, Mullah Abdul Ghani brother could have could possibly be either be dead or have been injured. Uh, but Taliban sources were claiming that he is in Kandahar. He is there to seek some guidance from uh, the uh, Taliban Amir Mullah Hebatullah Khunzada, uh, and that is the reason he was not there in the meeting uh, you know, today. Uh, in the morning, we saw a, a, a message coming in, an audio message coming in. First, the Taliban spokesperson denying them, denying these uh, rumors, saying that these are uh, uh, unfounded rumors, these are baseless, and these are quote unquote lies. Number one and number two. Just just some moments after that, we saw Mohammad Naim posting a Twitter audio message of Mullah Abdul Ghani brother, uh, where uh, Mullah Abdul Ghani brother is heard saying that he is well, that this is a propaganda, that he is doing well, and that no no, no, no none of these uh, rumors should be paid heed to. Molly. All right, leaving it there for the moment, Anas Malik. Thanks very much for joining us with those inputs. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.